Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on the Space Crap State, as part of my book haul yesterday, there were five Guy N. Smith novels in there, and I haven't seen his books on the shelves since like the early 1990s, I don't know if any of them are still available, so let's check it out. First, we have Death Bell. The villagers of Turbury were intrigued by the new arrivals at K Kology Hall. For years, the deserted mansion had crumbled behind its eight-foot walls, brooding over the terrible tragedies which had happened there. The latest owner seemed very odd. Martin Hamilton hid away his wife and Chinese servant girl behind padlock gates. Intruders were made unwelcome and a savage dog roamed the ground. Then it started to sound. The curious oriental bell that Hamilton had specially installed in the belfry. When its first soft tones were heard one evening, the villagers stopped to listen and grew afraid. From that day, from that moment, their fate was sealed. Day after day, the bell told its sinister message. People began to sicken and die. Violence, rape and murder convulsed the quiet community. After his mother's horrifying death, Julian Dane returns to Turbury. And what he finds there will make him determined to uncover the foul secret of the death bell. <laughs> Next, we have Doom Flight. A modern airport is terrorised by primitive bloodlust. Bradley Airport seemed as good as dead. All that remained was cracked concrete and scrubland, half-ruined buildings, rusted steel hangars and the ruiners. Strange, grotesque tribal killings, bizarre accidents, the legend of the dead airman who returns to leave trespassers to a horrible fate. Then a private company decides to turn the site into a major international airport. A local teacher warns the ancient druids who will wreak terrible vengeance on those who desecrate their stone circle, but he is dismissed as a madman. Isn't that always the way? Each day the casualties increase and their threat goes more chilling. For deep under the modern highways, run on the modern runways, a huge abyss is opening. The wrath of the gods has been incurred and demand human blood. The bird of evil will not rest until Fradley Airport has been devoured and the ultimate doom flight. Now we have, I think, Caracal or Carousel, I'm not sure how this is pronounced. His heart stopped a second or so before the vicious claws shredded his shirt and ripped through the tender skin, his features gouged beyond recognition. The caracal vented its fury upon him, ripping skin and strips from his body, then sinking its fangs into the blooded flesh underneath. An illegal immigrant had come to shore on the Welsh coast, a scarred Asian with his arms around a dark-furred creature, his pet, his only friend. In an isolated hippie commune in the Radnor Hills, the kittenish creature grows into a ferocious feline predator. The quiet countryside is terrorised by death after hideous death of hippies. <laughs> now, we have here two of the Sabbats. So this is Sabbat 1, the Graveyard Vultures. Mark Sabbat, ex-priest, SEA trained killer, exorcist, is a man with a dreadful mission. Driven and haunted, he has to seek out and destroy his mortal enemy. An enemy who has chosen the left-hand path, who embodies the eternal principle of evil. An enemy who is his own brother. Sabat was trapped, helplessly trapped, in his own paralysed body. His mind, conscious but impotent, raced and struggled against the inert flesh. He could sense, feel, the dark and crusted blood that masked his face. Sticky and rancid, more blood had soaked into his clothing, saturated through to the skin. Beside him, the girl was naked, her pale body hideously marked by the knife that had stabbed and sliced through her flesh. Above them loomed a desecrated altar, black candled, the crucifix reversed. But now the waiting was almost over. The ceremony was about to begin. Now, they didn't have um, Sabbat 2, but this is Sabbat 3, Cannibal Cult. That first one's the Graveyard Vultures. The room was windowless with white tiled walls. A drainage channel ran the length of the white tile floor. A room of coldly critical cleanliness, clinical cleanliness, designed for one purpose only, death. Death by guillotine. Death by me. Present, the hooded executioner. Two guards and a chaplain. Frightened men, all of them. The prisoner was dead, head severed, blood running into the gutter. The end of a monster and a hideous series of crimes. Except that no one there could, or ever would, forget those chillingly blasphemous last words. On the third day I shall live and you will fear my coming. Coming, sorry. <laughs> so, yes, that looks interesting as well. It's kind of like a bit anti-Christ there. But yes, those are the Guy N. Smith novels I've picked up for Scott. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content.
leave me a comment, suggestion, thoughts on topics you'd like to see discussed, or like the video.